Welcome back to another episode of renovating our 1961 vintage Avion camper. In the last episode, we finished the subfloor and today we start a new project. So today I am going to start working on hooking up the plumbing from the fresh water tank. I'm excited. The floors are done. That's what I'm really excited about. But Anyways, I've never done something like this. I'm pretty confident I can do it. I've actually got a diagram on my phone of what to hook everything up and how to hook it all up and things like that. So I think I've got everything I need to finish this project today, even though it's probably not the case. With plumbing, I've realized that there's multiple trips involved. But anyways, I tried to figure it out in my head. I didn't think about one item that we just got in and I'm also lacking an item um, which I'll explain later hopefully today Amazon will deliver it if not I'm just gonna leave the space open for it and then I can install it as soon as it comes in and it's kind of like plug and play so let me kind of show you the tools and the items that I have to make this possible today so first off PEX I'm using PEX plumbing to install all of the pipe fittings that's going to be running through the water. Um, of course, I've got this blue to indicate for a cold water, and I've got oh, red to indicate warm water. And then my fresh water tank, which y'all have seen, you may be able to see it behind me a little bit, but this right here, this little filter. Is what's going to come out of the um, fresh water tank and before it goes into the pump. So I've got two of those. I only need one, but it was a little bit cheaper to order them in pairs in case I ever do need a replacement or if I do something to damage that one. Um, and then I've got my pump right here. Let me go ahead and just. Oh my good grief! Look what it's got in there. I guess I should have opened this before. It's actually got, so now I've got three strainers. Oh my goodness. Just don't tell Samantha. And then my pump covered in bubble wrap. And then there's my pump. That's my pump there. There you go. All of this came off Amazon. Well, the pump and the filter came off Amazon. The uh, plumbing came from, the pipe came from a hardware store. And then we've got a tankless water heater. It is a 110, it's a small, compact water heater. Um, yeah, so we're going to give this a try. I've never done a tankless water heater, but I hear they are the way to go. And this camper's so small, so we didn't need a big water heater. It's just going to have hot water to the sink and then the shower. So, and then I chose not to use the push-on fittings, like the shark bike fittings. Instead, I chose these barbed fittings that go in the pipe. And then you got to use this fancy crimping tool to put them on there. I've never used one of these before. I've used Shark Bite before, just to, like the push on fittings. Um, and just in my mind, this these seem a little bit more durable. Except the check valve. I did get a check valve and it is a Shark Bite fitting. So there you go. But anyways, I'm fixing to restudy my diagram and start hooking this bad boy up. Oh, and then I do have another piece I didn't show you. It's actually still in the house. It is the the valve area that will I'll have to cut into the camper for the city water to come in. Okay, so alrighty, this is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna leave the tank sitting up like this. And this will be my city water fill. And this will be where the water is going to come out and um, disperse to the sink and the shower. 
and then I will install a drain here. So I know I've got to get fittings for this because I didn't I didn't think about a drain. Um, so yeah, and then I'll leave this one plugged, which is it already is. These already cut out. Um, just have the fittings put in there. So yes, let's go ahead and get started with this. Oh my goodness. Huh. Very first thing I don't have. Are you kidding me? I've got two females, which I'm assuming I'll need somewhere else. But I forgot to buy the male fittings here, which is absolutely weird that I've forgotten that. Anyways, I can go ahead and get everything else started and not, so I'll start with the filter. Even though I'm missing a part on this that I already know about. Okay, that's the in, that's indicated on there, in and out. So I'm going in. Oh, before I do that, let me take this sucker. Ta da. So that'll sit like that. The water's going to come into here. It's going to filter it, it's going to go in this pump, and it's going to come out and go into another thing that looks similar to this, just a water actuator. And then it'll come out of that and then start going towards like the um, water heater and meet up with the city. City water. This is my barb fitting. So it's just a half inch female and then I've got my half inch barb so it slides into the pipe and then I have a ring that I clamp it down with. I'm just going to go ahead and screw it on here because I know I'm going to need it. Like so. And then the same on this side as well. Okay, so this is the only sharp bite fitting that I'm going to use that I'm aware of. Um, this is a check valve. And it just prevents water from coming back. Let me see if I can better show you this. So it has an arrow that points this way. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. So that just means the water comes in here and goes out this way and cannot go backwards. So I'm fixing to go ahead and install that because I can go ahead and start from this point on and I think I can get everything finished that I'm aware of. Everything but right. hook up so, the water here. It just easily snaps in there like, like so. And then it's in there pretty good. So this will be my start. And then I'm gonna come off, cut this, put a T on it because some fresh water will need to come into here and then go out and actually tee off again for the water heater, of which I don't have the fittings for. And I'm a little bit <sighs> upset about okay. that. Okay, so I've never done this before. I'm thinking you just put this over. I'll put my tee in. I'll put this clamp right here. Sounds like I am at a NASCAR race at the moment. All right, cut. Place tube and barb, and then place this over, and 
crimp it down, I guess. Okay. It's just for your crimp force. Okay, let's give it a try. Yay, I'm excited. So, put that. Well. Hmm. Make it look like it's gonna fit in there with ease. Right, here's my go no go ga gauge. That's what this is. A half inch. Does not appear to be a go. This is for after. This tool right here is used for, ooh, ooh, there we go, is used for after. No wonder. Jeez. Okay. So. So basically, I just got it in there and. That should crimp it all. <clears throat> now, let's check this bad boy out. Looky there, looky there. Perfect. Huh. Well, ain't that cool? Yeah, and it's in there too. Yay. Now I know how to this. Samantha would like using this. Okay, so now I've got water coming out. So I need another crimp tool here. I'm getting the hang of this now. Like a glove. So then I need to cut this again. Alright, so actuator or the tank will go in here. This will go out. This is for the fresh water tank. Or not the fresh water tank. The city water will come into here. I got my check valve so it'll go back. Then I'm coming out and then I will do another T and that way the cold water can go to a water heater and then the rest of the cold water can continue on to the cold water valves at the sink and the shower. Yay. But let me let me try to get this right. So I'll need it to be like this. Yeah, like that. Continue on with the cold water. Get where I want it, right there. Okay, that's the start. You'll notice that I've got the cold water already running through the wall. And then I've got it split right there because that's where. I'm going to have to make a T for the sink. And then start again. I'll make a T right there for the toilet. And then I just stopped it right there because I'm not exactly sure where Samantha wants the shower head to go. But I've already pre-drilled my holes. And I'm going to start right about there where that red wiring is to bring my hot water through. And let me see if I can show you. 
like so yeah there's my my holes and I've got them drilled in every section as close as level as possible just eyeballing it but I'm gonna do the same thing with the hot water like I did the cold water Here's where the shower's going. I'm not exactly sure where the um, faucets for the shower's going to go. So I, I left a lot of uh, wiggle room to pull it all through if I need to pull it through somewhere else. But pretty happy that that part's done. I think the actuator is supposed to come in today through um, Amazon, so I, but I'm not certain. I need to double check on that. And then there was a couple fittings that I lacked, so I need those as well. But I can pick those up tomorrow, and when I get home after work tomorrow, I can finish this bad boy up. Okay guys, well it's been like numerous days since the last time I worked on this plumbing, so I'm back at it today. I've got a few things that I needed for the water tank. Um, I'll, I'll explain all that later. And then Samantha has showed me kind of roundabout area she wants to put the sink. So I'll go ahead and put um, some uh, plumbing tees where that goes so I can get it ready and plumbed, plumbed out for the, uh, for the faucets. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and try to knock out what I can today. And hopefully with a few minor things that I'm not too much worried about doing right now, I'm going to get all of the plumbing done today okay well, that section is done right there T's put in place for the hot and cold water so go to the faucet the next is right behind that toilet I need to go ahead and do a T off of that as well so that we can get the water going to the toilet and then it's gonna wrap around and this is where our shower is gonna be but I don't quite know exactly how that's gonna work yet so I've just got a lot of extra and we'll make do whenever that happens. Okay, next is some fittings for this sucker right here, which I don't think I'm going to cut into the wall today for this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But for this, I have my hose here. This is my vent hole. This goes like this. So this is my vent um, pipe. So it'll go on here, I'll clamp it down. And then it'll go on to another fitting I've got here. This fitting here, which will screw into this uh, fresh water tank. So it'll go on the other end of this hose. And that just lets for venting. Um, as you can see, right there at the bottom. Yeah, right there. Is a is where that vent's gonna come through. It lets the air out so it doesn't trap all the air in. And then next I have this right here. So this piece right here is going to screw into my fresh water tank. And I had to reduce it down, and then I've got a small piece of pipe that I'm gonna have to cut and then put this on the other end. So it's gonna look essentially like this. This be inside the fresh water pipe. And I've got a hose over there which will clamp onto this end here. And then it'll go right here onto this. Now what this will be is for my feel. So just unscrew that. And it'll go in there. And uh, you stick a water hose in there and you fill it up with 
uh, with the water from the water hose and it goes into the fresh water tank here and that's what fills it up. And then for this piece, this is my city water. I've got this fitting here. Now this fitting is gonna go right here. And then um, PEX, I'll put some of that PEX pipe onto here and then it'll go to, um, oh yeah, the PEX fittings that I already have ready. But I, I, I really just don't wanna do this today. But I can get everything else ready um, for it. And there's, there's a few things which, how I've got this set up over here to where I just want to wait and do some things after I get all of the electrical put into place because it's going to go on the other side like right here where my hands are where my hand is and um, once I get that into place then I'll do the um, drain which this is two of the pieces for my drain for the freshwater tank and, um, and then I'll hook I'll cut this out and hook this up here <sighs> okay, and here's my clamps. Those are my clamps there. Just regular hose clamps. Um, I thought I was missing one. Uh, there's the others. Okay, so let me get to work. Cool, so there you go. Got that sucker in there. So I'll go ahead and put this right here. I do have better tools. This just happened to be the one that's laying in here. So I don't care to go get my other wrenches. There we go. So I went ahead and put the fitting in here. Now this is, where, like I said earlier, where the water is going to come in and I can fill my tank with. So I had to reduce it down. I haven't glued this together yet. Uh, I'm waiting until it's completely like I want it. Uh, but this piece will go here. And then I will put the hose here. But I'm going to go ahead and put my hose onto this first. It'll be a lot easier. And then I'll put it on there. It should fit in here pretty snug so it doesn't help this hose is all curled up there we go I forgot to put this on there first so I'm just gonna go from this end and slide it on through to right here. And then I will just tighten this up. You can also use a screwdriver. I just can't find my flathead. And I didn't want to spend time looking for it. Plus, this is a lot easier for me anyways. That's in there. So that ain't going anywhere. All right. So there we go. That is on pretty good. I'll just glue this all, all together like that. So there we go. All right, so I got some things done that I needed to get done today. Really, to the, to the stopping point now to where I can start working on the electrical. But I went ahead and ran my line here for the city water. I got my tank fill ready. I've got my tank vent ready 
And then over here, I got the spots ready for the uh, knobs for the, uh, the faucet, the kitchen sink faucet. That's the word I'm looking for. As well as this ready for the water to the toilet. And I still don't know about the shower, so I've got plenty of line ran for that. So obviously some more work to be done, but I'm just trying to wait for the electricity to be started to be put in here before I start doing some cutting and finalizing and putting everything together. So about, about the time that the electrical work is coming to an end, so will the plumbing completely. So that's just the way I've got it figured out in my head to do it. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty happy. For the most part, this is done, and uh, I can start moving on to the electrical, which is going to be a challenge for me because I'm very confident that I can do it. It's just I'm psyching myself out thinking about it too much. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.